Let us have a look at this problem. A 30 kilowatt three phase induction motor has full load a slip of 3%. The stator losses amount to 5% of the input and the mechanical losses 1.5% of output. If the current in each rotor phase is 45 ampere, find resistance per phase of the rotor. To solve this problem, I would like to draw the equivalent circuit of the three phase induction motor. This is the stator equivalent circuit. This one is the rotor equivalent circuit. I2 is the rotor phase current which is given in the problem. I2 equals to 45 ampere. PG is the rotor input power or you can say this PG is the air gap power. You can write the expression for PG. The expression for PG can be written in, it, in this way. I2 square into R2 upon S. I have used a multiplication factor of 3 here because this circuit is drawn on a single phase basis and we are writing the equation for PG on a three phase basis. So I need a multiplication factor of 3 here. Now I want to split this R2 upon S. The R2 upon S can be splitted here in this way. R2 upon S can be written as R2 plus R2 1 upon S minus 1. R2 represents the rotor copper loss PCU. R2 1 upon S minus 1 represents the gross mechanical power developed PD. R2 upon S can be splitted in two parts R2 and R2 1 upon S minus 1. The R2 represents the rotor copper loss, PCU R, R means rotor, R2 1 upon S minus 1 represents the gross mechanical power developed PD. We can find a relation between PG, PCU R and PD and the relationship is written here. The relationship between PG, PCU R and PD is 1 is to S is to 1 minus S. You can write an expression for PG and PD and the relationship between PG and PD can be written as PG PD upon 1 minus S. In the question the mechanical losses are 1.5 percent of the output. First uh, let me tell you what is the output. The output of the three phase induction motor is 30 kilowatt. The output is given to us the full load slip. The full load slip S is given as 3% which is 0 0.03 and the rotational losses or you can say mechanical losses are 1.5% of P output. So these values are given to us. You can see here you can you know the relationship between the output power gross mechanical power developed and the rotational losses output power equals to PD minus rotational losses the output power is 30 kilowatt and the rotational losses are 1.5 percent of the output power so from this equation you can find out the gross mechanical power developed The output power, three phase output power is given to us. The mechanical losses or the rotational losses are given to us. You can find out the gross mechanical power developed which is P output plus P mechanical. So you know the value of PD which is 30450 watt. I have already told you the relationship between PG and PD and I have found the expression for PG which is 3i2 square r2 upon s. The value of I2 is 45 ampere which is rotor current in each phase. The value of PD is 30540 uh, and the value of slip is 0 0.03 and easily you can find out the rotor resistance per phase which is 0.155 ohm and in this way we have completed this problem.